So a very good day to all of us at <coughs> Tejaswini and Tejaswini Staros. So this is the time for the energy guidance for this uh, week. And uh, today is Monday and uh, 19th of November. So this guidance will be from 19th November to 25th November. But before I step into this guidance, an alert for Tejaswini's stress management workshop, which will be delivered through WhatsApp from 22nd November to 26th November. And it's a five-day workshop. And uh, be ready for taking in very powerful workshop tools and very important and significant value will be delivered through this workshop. We will... Through this five-day window, from day one to day five, we would be, it would be a power workshop and you will learn a comprehensive set of techniques and methods and tools to handle various aspects of stress and even anxiety, depression. And this group space, uh, it will be done through a focused group and multiple delivery uh, tools will be utilized to deliver the content of the workshop. And so custom made downloadable videos will be there. And the key techniques of this workshop will be delivered through this, uh, through these videos. And uh, you can go along with the videos later. It will be available with you. You can go along with them, work with the videos at your leisure. Then inner work exercises that's a, that's going to be important and uh, uh, text notes will be provided and sharings uh, are always encouraged in this uh, in um, pages uh, work whatsapp workshops because that enable quick on the spot guidance for the person plus others as well as you benefit from each other's sharing so it's it's like the group sharings you benefit immensely from the group sharing and the workshop of course will remain open 24 hours into five days and uh, so uh, you can respond at your convenience you can be placed anywhere geographically in any space in any time zone and you can participate at your convenience. So very, very uh, flexible and very, very powerful forum for delivering Tejaswini's workshops. And uh, take advantage. It's a very economical and cost-efficient method too. So looking forward to your participation. You can share this information with uh, with all your contacts and uh, anyone who is looking for this kind of uh, guidance and support. So see you on uh, this workshop window on 22nd November. It starts on uh, Thursday and we close the registrations in a day or two. So register fast. So now coming to this week's guidance. Now we have this card here. I remember last week we had this card called experience and uh, we were through a, a real intense set of energies which were flowing in last week. So after that, this card comes as a respite. So it is, it is like opening up a, a, a space of uh, calmness and uh, more stability in this week and this card is called it's the ace of uh, pentacles and uh, or it's here it's the rainbow suit the prosperity suit in the Osho Zen tarot deck so we have a very interesting figure over here who who is uh, he looks like uh, uh, he looks like a counselor, uh, a minister, an advisor, uh, someone, uh, a spiritual helper, some kind of an expert, a guide. 
so this is this card and he's very alert he's very silent he is uh looking inside himself very very whole personality centered personality uh, very expansive energies around this person and you can see a lot of colors beautiful rainbow colors here and which which uh, which represent the wholeness of what he is and he has got you see flowers in his dress he's wearing a, a a kimono kind of a dress and he is he's got flowers and this flowers are about flowering so it's about how he has become complete and whole and he has reached a stage where he is able to not only be centered himself but he's able to guide and advise others into this state and he has got a white glow on his head so it shows how uh, how he's knowledgeable and he is uh, taking in the light he's a channel of the light and a very interesting symbol here around you see you can see a circle is actually a snake who is biting his own tail so it's a uruboros so uruboros is a traditional a very old symbol of snake eating his own tail would mean some wholeness perfection completeness so this is what the energies which is which are being brought by this card so it's a wonderful card it's a gift for all the hard work that we may have done it just shows that our, we have worked hard in the past and our base is solid now and we can think of successes in our work in this week and uh, this would also indicate seeking the energy of this sort of an advisor a consultant someone guide who may come along and help us in any aspect of our life maybe spiritual maybe personal enhancement helping us in some way or the other so these are the energies which are looking at you at this moment and it is up to you to invite these energies and take their help and take your goals or take your intentions towards manifestation it would also mean seeking inviting and connecting to the energies of your own inner guide inner advisor your inner self your higher self so this is what the card brings it 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 brings this beautiful sense of maturity it says maturity here so this sense of maturity calmness centeredness expansiveness to us and this is what we are going to do exactly the same energies we are going to channel during this workshop they just finished stress management workshop this week it's exactly this is what we are trying to do to ground ourselves to be centered to be calm to be mature to be able to be able to handle our stresses and all our strains with ease so th this workshop is going to bring you that there are pressures in our life yes so these are your stressors your internal or external stressors and then there is how we look at these stressors what is our inner perception of these stressors or these pressures of our life and number 3 is is the resources that we have to manage this uh, stresses and so this workshop of tejaswini we are going to address everything here we may not be able to change the external pressures or external stress which uh, or the agents of pressure which may be on us but definitely we all of us can change how we perceive this pressure that means our own internal perception that is done through nlp through reimprinting of changing the channels of our thinking through energy healing and through so we have many tools and techniques and number so 
If you go to the resources, resources are the techniques. What is the portfolio? How are we armed? What are we armed with to handle these situations in our life? So the workshop will go around doing all this for you. So coming back to this card. So a very positive card, success in the material world. Yes, so we can look at things happening on all our fronts, money, wealth, career, prosperity, abundance, new beginnings, but it's again entirely up to you to invite these energies and utilize them. Invite this guide, invite this helper, invite this consultant, this energy of this uh, card into your life. So, and it would mean, it could mean wealth in a broader sense, abundance, prosperity in a broader sense in terms of your happiness, fulfillment, potential, love. So the card brings good opportunities for this week and uh, telling us to ground ourselves, to be centered and to be connected to ourselves so as to be able to take all these opportunities towards their manifestation. So the card in, in a sense is telling us about manifestation, that he is the agent of manifestation by his very wise counsel and by his wisdom and by his own uh, centeredness, he is bringing in this energy of manifestation. And I have spoken about this energy several times. It's, it's a complete paradigm of uh, first intending something and thinking positively in, of that thing, using the right words to express whatever we stand for or whatever we are intending. Expression and words are very important. And then taking suitable actions because without actions, nothing will happen. So it's a complete paradigm of manifestation and all elements have to be in place for anything to happen in our lives. If we are consciously moving towards some goal, we have to keep all these things in place. So this card tells us to do that. And it's bringing in those energies where, and we need to just invite and accept and receive these energies and go forward in our lives. So share this video on your timeline or with your friends, share the information on this uh, stress management workshop with your contacts and friends and uh, avail of this wonderful opportunity which the cosmos is showing us this week spiritual maturity calmness being centered grounded expansive happy healthy stress-free ridding ourselves of all our perceptions and threats of anxiety and all pressures of our life and calming ourselves centering ourselves and equipping ourselves with resources that will help us in this direction. So looking forward to meet you in the stress management workshop on 22nd. So goodbye and I shall see you in the energy guidance for next week. Bye-bye.